It was the perfect end to another perfect day. Alice was nearly asleep when she heard... Ah! What is that? Make it go away! What, Gumball? It's just a bunny. That's the scariest bunny I've ever seen, Snort. Oh, hiya, Alice. Take a look at Snort's bunny. Go ahead, tell him. It's the stuff of nightmares. Am I right? Bunnies behind bars? What does that mean, Snort? We're raising money to take care of bunnies without homes. Sometimes bunnies end up in animal shelters, and that's not a good permanent home for them. Oh, bars. Like a cage in a shelter. I get it. <laughs> How wonderful of you all to be so giving. It was Fleeb's idea. Just doing my part to help. Ooh, ooh. How about pennies for bunnies? Is that better? I like that, Snort. Me too, but only if the bunny is more cuddly looking. Got it? Mm-hmm. Now I know why you're adding your pennies. So what do you say, monsters? Should we see how many pennies you have all together? Adding three-digit numbers is kind of hard for us, Alice. Then I'll help you. Looks like you already know how many pennies are in each of those piles. Let's start by adding these two numbers first. Snort, will you write these numbers on the board? Be sure to put one number right on top of the other. Snort, it's really important to line the numbers up so that we're sure that we're adding ones to ones, tens to tens, and hundreds to hundreds. Oh, good idea, Alice. So, where can we start adding? The, the ones, ones place. place. That's right, little monsters. Six ones plus six ones equals... Uh, twelve ones? Yes. And since 12 ones is the same as one ten and two ones, we'll put a two for the two ones in the ones place and put a one for the ten up here in the tens place. Now, let's add the numbers in the tens place. One plus eight makes nine, plus five more equals 14 tens. Nice work, Gumball. But that's too many tens to write in the space. So, what do we do? I know. 14 is 10 and 4. 10 tens is the same as 100, so we can put a 1 up in the hundreds column. And we put the 4 down there in the tens column. That's right, Gumball. That's 104 tens. The last thing we do is add the numbers in the hundreds place. 100 plus 3 hundreds plus one more hundred is 5 hundreds. Drum roll, please. 542. Now, let's add Snort's 179 pennies to the 542 we just got to figure out the total number of pennies you have to donate. Okay, we got this, Alice. Ready, boys? Ready! First, we line up 542 right over 179. Nice and neat. Then we start by adding the numbers in the ones place. Right you are, Snortster. Nine ones plus two ones equals eleven ones. Eleven ones! Oh boy, you guys, you know what that means. Regrouping time! You know it. We'll just regroup those ten ones into one ten and put that in the tens place. That leaves us with one one. I would like to add the numbers in the tens place. Would that be okay? Sure, Snort. Go ahead. So, if we start with that one ten that we brought over from the ones place, plus four tens, plus seven more tens, that equals twelve tens. Add a monster, Snorty Boy. And since we have more tens than we can write in the tens place, it's... Regrouping time! So, we'll regroup ten of those tens as one hundred and add that in the hundreds column. We're left with two tens in the tens column. Now the hundreds place. So one hundred plus five hundreds plus one hundred is... Seven hundreds. 
Drum roll, please. 721. <laughs> you did it, monsters. Great job. 721 pennies is the same as $7.21. Whoa, that's a lot of moolah. You think we can find homes for all our bunnies with that much dough? <laughs> oh, my! There are so many! Is that Alice laughing? I must be imagining things. Alice is sound asleep. 